I'm here with my friend Becky today. Hello. And we are going to talk about fun ways um, to manage all of the clutter and obligations that come with school time. There's right? a lot. Yeah, it's yes. a lot. You know, the biggest thing actually is really managing all the paperwork that comes in, the uh -huh. homework, the art projects, just everything that comes home yes. with the kids. I actually have a really good tip for that. Okay. Um, something I do in my own house. And I started it when my oldest was probably in first grade, um, which was a long time ago now. But we still use the system to this day and it works really well. And what I did is I created uh, an in and out bin at my house. I love that. Okay, so tell me. So every day when my kiddos come home from school, they need to empty their backpacks and put any papers that I need to sign or address or anything that might require um, a check or anything like that, they need to put it in my in bin. Got it. Okay. Then when I actually um, sign the papers and do whatever is required, I put it in the out bin for them to put back into their backpacks. That's really actually really simple and doable, I think. So another thing we do every year um, for each school year is we start an accomplishment book. When they come home from school, if something really great has happened or they've had a great test, we simply write down the date, write what happened, and that way they can still remember that accomplishment, but you don't need that spelling test sitting around till the end of oh, time. Oh, okay. So you actually just write everything inside and yes. keep the notebook. Yes. If they um, had a really great day in gym or they made a new friend, anything like that can be written in the accomplishment book too. And it's very uh, neat and doesn't take up a lot of space, but they still get to remember all those important things. Do you do one per child? Or yes, is it... one per child. Okay, got yes. it. Perfect. Then you can have one for every year. Yes. It's a great way to journal the school year. Yeah, that's great. Another great thing I like to do with my kids is have them keep a calendar so they know what's going on and, and what maybe to expect. I love this for uh, younger children. It's this um, magnetic calendar that I actually purchased at Creative Kids Stuff. You basically put the date on the top. It can talk about their moods. It can talk about the weather. And then I have another magnetic board that I use under this one hanging on the wall, just a magnetic whiteboard that I use to put things on that I need my kids to do. So I have it divided in half. One side says to do, and then the other side says done. And as soon as they've put on their shirt or gotten dressed that day, they simply move it to the done side. So then they know every morning what it is they're going to have to do before it's time to go to school or go on any errands that you're gonna do. Perfect, easy checklist. Yes. So the other challenge I have is all the stuff for homework. We've got pencils, we've got papers, everything, and finding the scissors it never fails, we can't find them. What I do for my kids, I put together a fresh homework caddy. And in my caddy, I have all the supplies I need to make sure homework gets done. And I like this size bin because you can actually move it to wherever you do the homework. So if you even need to, um, if you're at your dining room table or if they have a desk, but it's all portable and all contained. So first of all, I chose a container that is just the right size for fitting folders because uh -huh. typically kids have a back and forth folder that goes to school. So as soon as they come home after school, first they empty and put things in my in basket that I need to attend to, but then I have them put their folders in the homework bin so we know what has to be done that night. I also have a calendar so we can write down any kind of long-term assignments that we might need to get done okay. and sort of chart our plan for working on those things. If they have a report that needs to get done, we record all of those things in here Okay. so we know where we're at. Actually, I have something in here that you wouldn't expect to find in a homework bin necessarily. Okay. It is called a boogie board. Ooh, okay, that looks exciting. My son is super techy. It is. Let me show you how it works because it's actually pretty cool. It's a flat board and it looks kind of similar to an iPad, so um, kids who are techy might enjoy that. So now you say techie and I think it's expensive. You know, actually this is not gonna break the bank. These oh, boogie okay. boards actually sell for about $39.99. So okay. um, under $40. It's great in this homework bin, but really it's great for travel. Uh, you can make lists. This is great for practicing spelling words. There's so many different things you can do with this okay. that it's really worth the investment. And all right, let me let try me just, it out. All right, here's the stylus. All right, so I just write on it? You just write on it. All right. I love homework. <laughs> That's a really great inspirational message to put in here. And then what's really awesome about this is as soon as you press this erase, oh my gosh, it goes away. That's awesome. Okay, that would really help. It's with sort of like a modern day etch just scale So instead of the 24 pack of crayons, which is typically what classrooms require, I've actually put this set of 100 crayons in here. So there's lots of fun colors for mm -hmm. kids to choose from. And again, it makes homework 
an event or something special, especially if you sit down and do it with your child. So. Yeah, even the container, my daughter would be all over mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And then I have this jar of pencils, pens, highlighters, glue sticks, ruler, scissors, oh. just some of the basic things you and need. This is really smart, just a mason jar with a lid. Yes, this is just a okay. little mason jar and it doesn't actually have the lid, so you can have taller items in here as well. And I've done that for my markers too. Are these the smelly markers? These are the smelly markers. Okay. So again, adding little treats oh. to make homework even mm -hmm. more fun. That's a great idea. And then I've got <gasps> this rubber band ball. Can I bounce it? Well, sure. <laughs> we hardly oh. ever we hardly ever need rubber bands, but this, in addition to being useful for rubber bands, is really great for getting out the fidgets when oh, you're doing homework. Yeah. So having something for kids to handle. It's the first thing I did mm -hmm. when I grabbed it. It's yeah. a really nice uh, way for them to stay focused and okay. do what they need to do. And I also have scotch tape. It seems like you always need tape and you just mm -hmm. can never find it. <laughs> or you're out of it. Or so that's a good it. idea. A calculator for doing uh, basic math. A stapler for keeping things uh, together. Mm -hmm. And then an assortment of uh, binder clips and paper clips. Okay. And a little pouch, pencil pouch for anything loose you might need to store. And then a dictionary. All the great. tools okay. you need for doing homework. Sounds great. This is actually, this would work really well. And this is a perfect size for our house too because we don't have room for anything too big. We'll be right back after these messages. We've talked about managing paperwork and managing homework um, and keeping a calendar. Now we're going to talk about snacks and lunches, which is the best part of every school day, right? Snack time and lunch time. And stressful for me. And str I know it is. It's, yeah. it's a lot to keep up with because none of my kids actually will eat hot lunch and I don't know why this is, but I have to pack mm -hmm. four lunches every day and it's a lot. So what I did to make it easier for myself is I created just like a container, a tray of everything I need to pack lunches. Can I just have this? <laughs> <laughs> this looks amazing. You have everything here. Okay. We have everything we need. So in my bin, I put obviously baggies are needed. And then some kind of fun things that I put in here is this apple cutter. Kids really like to have their apples mm -hmm. sliced like that and it just makes it really easy. Those are confusing to me. What are those? Okay. Food always tastes better when it's in a shape. Oh, people don't right, know it this. Yes, it does. Okay. So I actually have an assortment of cookie cutters that I can use to make sandwiches or fruit or anything that is in the lunch a different shape. Okay, now I see where I've gone wrong. As soon as I figure out how to use it on broccoli, I'm sure right. my kids are going to start eating that. Right? It might take a while. Yeah. Let me think on that one. And then I've got um, any cutlery we might need and some napkins. And I like to actually put fun napkins in the, my lunch bin. So again, anything that makes the lunch box look a little bit more special uh, really makes kids feel good. Sure. I also have these Smarties I throw in once in a while because um, they are Smarties since they're at school. My, my son's favorite, yeah. And then um, just some basic jokes or little notes that I will slip into their lunch once in a while. Okay. What sound do porcupines make when they kiss? Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> That's my lunch station, and it really okay. does make things a lot easier. Okay. All right, so let's move on to snacks. Um, I like to keep this container by my back door or whatever door that kids leave to go to school so they can throw a snack into their backpack as they go. Oh, so they get their own. Because this is the constant, can I have a snack, can I have a snack, and then do you have your snacks for lunch mm -hmm. or for school? They actually just grab their own snack on the way out. So I've got a variety of protein bars here that I like okay. to keep. But one of my favorite things to do is to actually fill these um, mason jars with different ingredients and so kids can make their own snack mix. Oh, and this is something that. that they could actually do on a Sunday night for almost the whole week and so that these mixes are ready to go. Can we make one? We sure can. Okay, what do you got here? All right, so we've got a little bit of granola. Okay. Do you granola in there? All right, I'll hold. Okay. Oh, I love granola. Of course I do. Okay. I love granola too. And you can even, if you're, this is actually store-bought granola, but if you're super ambitious, you could obviously make your own. Okay. And then store-bought sounds good. This actually, <laughs> this is actually a medley of dried fruits. Oh, okay. So there's dried mango, dried pineapple, and dried strawberries in there, which I also like okay. a lot. Ooh, those strawberries smell good. Okay. It does smell actually really good. Uh -huh. Is this one for me to go? Yes, sure. Mm -hmm. All right, what else? And then I've got a salty pretzels. snack. I've got these pretzels in there, which my kids like a lot. So that is a good one too. And the nice thing about making your own mix is 
you can pick and kids really do like to feel in charge of themselves specifically with food a lot of times making those choices is right. something they really like so pick your favorite cereal pick yep okay and then actually that's what this is this berry flavored kicks is all this is and i put that in there too and you've got a perfect little snack and healthy that's pretty healthy mm-hmm mm-hmm all right, so that makes snack time easy at our house. Okay, wow, you've already made this way easier for me, so I feel already great about this. All right, the last thing we're gonna tackle is actually the daily battle about clothing, which okay. is something that happens, I don't know if it happens at your house, but it happens at my um, house. Yes, where are the socks? Where are the <laughs> socks? Every morning, where are the socks? So okay. uh, one easy way, Obviously, this is all about planning. I mean, everything I'm talking about here isn't necessarily rocket science, but it's just planning things out and uh, making your, it makes your life a lot easier. So the Saturday or Sunday before school, we go through and we pick out what we're going to wear for the week. All in one shot. All in one shot. Okay. And what's nice about that, first of all, is then when kids are sleepy in the morning, oftentimes it's hard to make a decision on what they want to wear or you might have something specifically. This is a really great idea. If Wednesday is going to be picture day, be like every other day you get to choose, but we're going to choose Wednesday together. So you okay. can talk about those things and then also put in all the socks you need. So the supplies are laid out. I've actually used a drawer for this rather than one of those hanging things uh, that are days of the week. Yes, which I love because my kids can't actually reach the top of those hanging drawers. We tried that. Yes, and this everybody has to have clothes in their dresser anyways, so you have this drawer. Why not just empty it out and use it for your weekly clothes? Okay, great, I love that. So, well, I hope you found this to be helpful. This is gonna make it a lot easier. For these ideas and more, visit our website. It's as easy as that. We'll be right back after these messages.